right, friends, welcome to this tutorial about flip a clip, moving, copying, and pasting objects. Now, in this animation that I've already started, I have two layers that I've set up. I'm going to tap the layers button in the lower right hand corner. If you want to learn more about layers, check out my short tutorial about using layers in Flip a Clip. So I have two layers. The top one is the UFO. The bottom one is the cow. I'm going to tap on the UFO layer. And let's talk about moving this object, the UFO. Because if I tap and hold right now, I can't move it, right? I just get a selection box. Now look over on the left side. You can see I already have the lasso selected. I'm going to now circle the UFO with my finger. And I can now tap and I can move it. I can resize it. I can tap on the top circle and rotate it. And if I move the center circle, I'm actually moving the axis of rotation. So super useful to be able to circle and select. Now, while we have this selected, I'm going to go up to the top menu bar and I'm going to tap the copy button. It looks like two sheets of paper, one on top of the other. So I will tap that button. Nothing really exciting happens, so we go on faith that it's copied it. And I'm going to add a second frame, tapping the plus button in the bottom below the cow. And now I will tap the clipboard icon which will paste in the UFO that I had selected in the exact same place that it was on frame one. But remember, we're on frame two. So if I drag it with my finger like that, I can move it over. Pretty cool, huh? Let's tap on frame three. We added a new frame. I'm going to tap the clipboard, and I can move it over again. You can see where I'm going with this. Plus button, clipboard plus button, clipboard, plus button, clipboard. And this is a really efficient way to add in objects so that you can see the onion skin. And I'm in the free version here. But it's a quick way to add objects across multiple frames. And if we hit the play button, you can see we got a little movement. The cow only flashes once because the cow is on frame one only. Now, let me show you something else. We're going to switch to layer two. This is the cow layer. Check this out. I've got the lasso selected again. I'm going to circle, but pay attention to what I just circled of the cow. I only circled part of the cow. And if I move, whew, I only have part of the cow. So you could do some really interesting animation with this. I'm going to tap undo and bring that back. But if I copy this, right, and I go to slide two or frame two, and I hit the clipboard, I only get half a cow. So you have to be really careful with what you select. And again, this could bring up some interesting animation possibilities. But keep in mind that what you select is what you get. So you have to be fairly careful in selecting and then what you select is what you can copy and paste. Let me show you a second tool for duplicating objects across many frames. So I'm going to tap on the three buttons in the top left corner, and I'm going to go to Frames Viewer. So you could see I have all of my frames already here, right? I would like to, though, duplicate frame one over and over and over. So I'm going to tap on the frame selection tool. It's in the top right corner next to the plus button, and it looks like a square surrounded by a dotted line. So I will tap that. All of these will turn red. And right now, if I go to the bottom and I tap on the copy button, the two pieces of paper overlapping, it has just selected them all. If I tap on the key, the, the clipboard icon to paste, watch what happens. It just pasted, it duplicated all those frames. So if you have an action that you'd like to repeat over and over again, you can use this to duplicate the frames. 
Now let's say though, I only want to duplicate frame one. First, I have to deselect everything but frame one. And I'm gonna tap to deselect. It's not bad if you only have a few frames, but it gets a little tiresome if you have a lot. So plan ahead. I've had to do this with like deselecting 60 frames. It's not a satisfying part of my lifestyle. Anyhow, enough of that. So now I only have one frame selected. And so I can now tap the clipboard icon again, tap, I'm sorry, tap the copy button again. Now I tap the clipboard button and you'll notice it just duplicated frame one. So that's two ways to duplicate objects, plus how do you move objects in Flip a Clip. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Post some of your animations in the comments below and take care.